What's the story of morning glory? What's the word hummingbird? Thank you so much for clicking on my channel and for joining me for this review of 90 Day Fiance season nine, episode 15, Kobe and Emily. So Kobe and Emily and um, Kobe's friend temperature are in the car and they're driving to drop off temperature and Kobe and temperature are having a conversation in their own language. And it's basically temperature. Um, oh, this is how it started. So Emily made a comment about because Kobe said he was tired. So Emily made a comment about, oh, you're tired because you were out partying all night with temperature. And so Kobe starts speaking his own language to temperature saying, this is what I have to put up with all the time. And then temperature tells him in their own language, he tells him, you know, you need to put a stop to it. Otherwise, this is how it's always going to be with her. You know, you need to stand up, be a man, take control, etc. So I'm thinking to myself, look, that is absolutely rude. You cannot speak another language um, in front of someone who doesn't understand that language I mean, that's like etiquette 101 you just don't do that and so I thought that that was extremely rude so you know Emily told them that you know y'all need to speak English speak English I don't understand what you're saying so um, they drop off temperature and um, Emily is, wor is uh, worried that Kobe might share the same sentiments as temperature as far as, you know, the man controlling the woman, the woman being submissive and passive and letting the man make all the decisions, so on and so forth. So um, they I think it was like another day or something. I don't know, but they bring temperature over to their home and they're giving him a tour of the house and of the, the area where I guess Kobe and Emily stay in the basement. And it is decked out really, really nice. I thought it was just a bedroom down there, but there's like an entire living room and then off to the side or whatever. There's like a hallway with the bedroom. It's like an, a whole nother, like a little apartment. That whole entire basement is like a little apartment. And so it, was, it looked really nice. If I was Kobe, I don't think I'd want to move out and go to Ohio. I want to stay there for a hot minute. So he's giving them the tour. And I was like, when y'all get to the bedroom, please, 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 please do not make some MTV Cribs crass remark about this is where all the action happens or something to that effect. And sure enough, when they got to the bedroom, Kobe says, and this is where all the magic happens. And I'm like, that is so tired and old and so 90s MTV Cribs. Like I was, that was very cringy for me. That was a very cringy moment for me. So Temperature brings up the issue of them moving to Columbus, Ohio. I mean, temperature, if anything, temperature, I don't know what you do for a living, but you need to consider sales because you will try and try. You will not give up until you get what you want. So once again, he tries to sell Columbus, Ohio to Emily and Kobe, you know, saying that there's this extremely huge Cameroonian population there. I think he said it was like a million or something. It's like a really big Cameroonian population and that, you know, Kobe will be able to get a job there to take care of his two kids. Or he had alluded to or mentioned something about them having having two kids or Emily being pregnant. And so um, Emily was like, oh, so you told him about me being pregnant. And Kobe was like, well, yeah, you know, he's my friend and whatever, whatever. And Emily got upset because she says we have made a deal that we were not going to tell anybody. So the fact that you're even telling him that you told him shows that, you know, I can't trust you. So this is like a whole trust issue for her. Um, and so I don't know if Kobe had told temperature to like, you know what, keep it under wraps. We didn't see him when he told temperature about Emily being pregnant. Um, we, he didn't, we did not see Kobe tell him, don't tell her or don't tell anybody that I told you this. So Kobe, that's all on you. If you didn't warn your friend that he should have kept it under wraps. Once again, Kobe, that is all on you. So the whole idea about moving to Columbus, um, yeah, Emily's not down with that at all. So, Later on or in another scene, um, Emily is messing with uh, Kobe's iPad. She's like plugging it in or something. And then she said that um, she came across a search engine in the search engine. She saw that he was looking up apartments in Columbus. And I'm like, how did you? Because she made it seem like she plugged in the iPad and like something popped up to let her know that he was looking at apartments. But she like went all up in the iPad. She was like looking up Google and 
bringing up past histories or past searches. She was doing some serious, you know, detective work on that iPad. It wasn't just she stumbled across something to do with him looking for apartments in Columbus. She was digging for information. So she confronts Kobe about it. And she's like, yeah, I was on your iPad. And I see that you were looking up one bedroom apartments in Columbus, Ohio. And this kind of got her concerned because she's like, you know, why does he want to move to Columbus when I told him I didn't want to? And why is he looking for a one bedroom? Like, you know, we're going to have two kids. Why is he looking up a one bedroom? I don't know if she's in fear that he's just going to, you know, um, skedaddle out of there by himself and go live in Columbus, like leave her behind. I don't know what was going on there. So uh, she confronts him about it. And he was like, first of all, why are you looking at my iPad? And second of all, he says, it was just a link that temperature sent me. Um, It's no big deal. And she said, and Emily says, um, You were looking up one bedroom apartments because temperature only talked about you moving to Columbus and not us moving to Columbus. And so Kobe was like, you're making a big deal about nothing. Um, Of course, I'm not going to be moving to Columbus, Ohio. And he was just really trying to downplay like, look, the man sent me a link and I was looking at it. And that's it. It's got nothing to do with anything else. And it's not a big deal. You don't want to move. You don't want to move. Okay, fine, whatever. And so then Emily tells him that Ohio is not an option and that he should never bring it up ever again. And of course, Kobe's going to say, okay. Now, what I think what really went down, I think that temperature really was looking looking for one bedroom apartments for Kobe, because I think that what they planned on doing was maybe Kobe moving to Columbus, Ohio alone to work, make a whole bunch of money, send it to Emily and then eventually move Emily to Columbus. That's why I think temperature had sent him links for a one bedroom apartment. That's what I believe. That's what I truly believe. And the reason why it's going to just be more cost effective to get a small one bedroom or an efficiency instead of a two or three bedroom apartment. So that's what I think the plan was. I think that temperature has been buzzing in Kobe's ear, come over here to Columbus by yourself, work, make money, send it back to Emily. And then eventually Emily will join you in Columbus. That's what I think. Y'all let me know what y'all think. And if that makes any sense to anybody else other than me. So temperature has been making Emily's temperature rise ever since he arrived in uh, Kansas. And um, he's still going to be sticking around for the wedding. And we'll just see how that goes. Um, Lately, compare, I've been kind of warming up to Emily a little bit because I'm comparing her to temperature and temperature is a hot mess. He's a lot. And I don't like the ideology that temperature is spewing and, you know, trying to like convince Kobe to be, oh, you need to be the man, be the man of your house and blah, blah, blah. I don't agree with none of that stuff. I think that they can equally both, you know, share leadership roles or responsibilities and duties and all that stuff. It doesn't necessarily always have to be one is in charge all the time. In some situations, Emily needs to make a decision. In some situations, Kobe needs to make a decision. So it doesn't have to be one person in control all the damn time. But I don't know. So I compare Emily to temperature and between those two, you know, I like Emily a whole lot better. So I'm kind of I've been sort of warming up to Emily because she hasn't been as crazy or as you know, out there. Um, she's been a little bit more tamed. So yeah, that is my review of Emily and Kobe. Things are just getting started with these two people. I cannot wait until her family finds out about the pregnancy. I cannot wait to see their wedding. Um, and the idea of moving to Columbus, Ohio. So is temperature like trying to convince Kobe to like work under the table because he doesn't have his papers to work legally. So Is he like trying to convince them to like, you know, cheat Uncle Sam and, you know, work under the table to support his family or what's really going on over there? I'd like to know. This is my review of Kobe and Emily. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. On your way out, please don't forget to rate the video. And if you like this content, please subscribe and I will definitely talk to you later. Bye.